Disruption in our digestive health can lead to weight gain. The microbial flora in your gut dictates whether you have to stay lean or obese. Maintaining your gut health requires precision nutrition. So for this video, let's take a peek about your digestive health and ways to improve it for sustainable weight loss. The food we eat has to get converted to energy, for which precision digestion has to be in process. If this is not happening well, it can also affect the synchrony of the whole system in the body. No wonder Hippocrates rightly pointed out that all diseases start from the gut and what he actually means by that. Our human body is not just made of human cells. In fact, we are also made of the microbes, the bacteria, fungi and the virus which works in synchrony with our body in exchange for food and their levels are highly concentrated in the human gut. They help produce B vitamins and plenty of mucus in our GI tract which forms a protective layer from the pathogens. It acts as an effective immune modulator and plays a main role in the activation of the digestive juice bile for fat absorption and digestion. Most importantly, the gut microbiome can control our genes. In fact, their numbers 150 times are higher than our own genes. Most precisely, they decide if you have to stay lean or obese. Even your metabolism depends on the kind of microorganisms that you carry in your gut. For instance, Acromancia is one such bacteria that is highly prevalent in the lean body type. It plays a huge role in preventing the insulin resistance and becoming one from overweight. A healthy gut is more like a well-maintained lawn. It requires seeding, nourishing and controlling the weeds most of all. Our gut makes 90% of serotonin a happy brain chemical. We also refer to this as our second brain. So it makes sense to take care of your gut for the brain, right? When it comes to microbes that's living in your gut, not all microbes are made the same, which means some of them can be beneficial and some of them can be pathogenic. When the balance between the beneficial and the harmful microbes are disturbed, we refer to that as dysbiosis. And this itself can be the reason for many diseases especially the weight gain. So what causes this dysbiosis to happen? Refined sugars, poor digestion, medications, dehydration, irregular bowel movements, processed foods and preservatives are some of the known causes for dysbiosis. Refined sugars, processed food and preservatives helps to grow the bad microbes in your gut. Weeds that has to be eliminated right away. What we are feeding these microbes completely depends on the choice of your foods. Even a diet soda with no calories with the artificial sweetener can alter the microbial flora and lead to dysbiosis. A diet high in refined sugars and processed foods will only help the growth of the candida yeast which is not beneficial to the system. They interfere with the functionality of the B vitamins which plays a role in the conversion of food to energy and the maintenance of the mood. If you've been on an antibiotic for a while, then it's a good idea to start you on a probiotic, depending on what your doctor wants to do. But the problem is not just solved right away, because all you're doing now is to reseed the lawn. Remember, you have to keep nourishing it and keep the weeds away to keep this lawn really healthy. So now that we took care of the weeds, it's high time we start nourishing the lawn, which is a huge topic by itself, which I'll be covering it in part two. Stay tuned and stay healthy. Let food be your medicine and medicine be your food.